Open your mouth now. You're long open. It's nice. Give this for the boy, I'm here. So I'll ride into town. So we're going off now. <laughs> I am not Sorry. driving with you. No. No. <laughs> it's alive. That's been there since Monday. It is day three in Pakistan to speak now. It is it is day three in Beirut. You're not even in focus. It is day three in Beirut and it's our last full day. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon and we've just come out for lunch because Amani got her hair done today, looking like a movie star over there. Unsurprisingly, we have come to a restaurant that sells Lebanese food. I'm gonna be eating hummus and tabbouleh again. I have that for breakfast, lunch and dinner when I come. So, um, as he was saying earlier, I went to the hairdresser and I kind of dyed my hair for the first time in 31 years. Don't you guys think my hair looks orange? I really don't like it. No, I don't think it looks orange at all. I think it's very good. I think it went a bit orange. Like, I basically didn't want to dye my hair ever, but because there's a lot of white hair now, because he gives me all the, um, all the headaches in the world. If you could see the outtakes from these vlogs, you would understand that I should be a lot more gray than I am because of this woman. and I dyed it and I was shitting myself and I said listen I don't want any different color I want the color to be exactly the same so that was the closest she can do it and she didn't do the whole thing she just did like low lights and I think I go I went a little bit orange so we're down on the Corniche I actually stayed at a hotel further down here my very first time in Lebanon I love it here you've got a really nice view of the sea all the way down here well we if you saw yesterday's vlog we were much further down there in a place called Zaytuna Bay that's true, isn't it? Yes. We were down there, yeah. We nearly died. Because of a reckless driver. Because of a reckless driver. She's acting again, like... It's me again. She's acting like it's not true, but I'm going to put a clip of what happened last night so you can see that I'm not lying. And that is why we do not let Riham drive. You can see all the, all the tourists and all the people coming down here because it's still the Eid break and everyone's out enjoying time with their families. And I'm here smoking shisha with my family, see? food here is absolutely amazing. Everything tastes so, so fresh compared to Dubai as well. We've got some nice salad down here. We've got spicy potatoes here. Lubia, which is basically like a green bean in a tomato sauce. These are vine leaves or wine leaves? Lebatta, whatever. Mm, what else is there? Sausage. Sausages. Sausages. Perfect. Jack, this is vegan and you need to try it and stop resisting. Apparently this is vegan. What's inside it? It's called mulle. It's like a rice grinded with like sugar and cinnamon and coconut. Alright, do it's this. gonna be nice. Not that much! Why are you doing this to me? Just try it. It's nice! Open your mouth now. 
It's nice. Give this for the boy, come here, I mean. Oh, how is it though? Eat it. No. Stop. Oh. Are you giving birth? It's your worst nightmare. Watch it wobble. It wobbles. It actually wobbles. It's a tradition for the Lebanese. They do it when um, everything is a tradition. When a, when a, when a, everything is a tradition. When a Lebanese. baby is born. When a child is born, yeah. There's no child born. You know what happens? Every single time she makes me try something. Most of the time I've tried it already, and I say I don't like that. I don't want to eat it, and she will say, No, no, it's nice. You like it. You like it, and I'll eat it, and it won't taste very nice. And then she'll laugh at my reaction. How do you write musketeer? Musketeer. Thank you very much. Now the safer option has come. Watermelon, untouched. Look at the size of that. That is like a slab. Yummy. That is like a brick. You can hold a house up with that. That's the Lebanese hostism. <laughs> so, try that again. It's the Lebanese what? <laughs> That's the Lebanese hostism. <laughs> That's the Lebanese... Generosity. Generosity. It's the Lebanese generosity. With every single meal in every single restaurant I've ever been to out here, they literally serve you so much shit. No. They serve... I'll come back to this point. <gasps> Are you ready? Oh, the hair gets done. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. <laughs> <laughs> So what I was trying to say was, <laughs> before the circus show started happening, was that with every single meal, when you ever, whenever you go to a Lebanese restaurant, they always serve you loads of fresh fruit afterwards, and they don't charge for it. They always give you loads of watermelon, and mango, and sweets. Don't they charge you for this either? So even the wobbly, <laughs> tasteless thing that they serve you, apparently, Every time a child is born, they apparently make you eat the wobble juice. It's disgusting. 